Good morning. Welcome back. You know we've been bucket blitzing all week for the Salvation Army, and you've been hearing it from me, but I want you to hear from someone who's closer to the Salvation Army. You've got Shane Schuller with us this morning. He's with the Green County Clerk. Thank you for coming out in this brutal cold. I'm sorry it's not warmer. Thanks, Lisa, that's all right. Great to be here with you this morning. So. Tell me a little bit about why do you get involved with the, um, oh, here, we've got, we've got a bucket now. And look. There we go. That's so nice of you. Absolutely. We, you know, we've been talking about this need so much. Why did you just put money in the bucket? Well, I think it's important in terms of all the people during the time you need it most. Salvation Army is going to be there for you. And especially you think of just how cold it's been the past couple of mornings and the lives they are touching every day in terms of the, the shelter they get, the warmth at night, the food they are able to eat. And then just throughout the year, the different services they give to help our community. That's why I appreciate the Salvation Army and the mission that they have. Right. We think about giving this time of year, but it's not just right now. This is year round and they do so many things, right? Food pantries, after school. Um, what What is your favorite part about being so involved with the Salvation Well, like I said, it's seeing the lives touched. I mean, it's about the people that you're able, you know, as a Christian, the way you think about, you know, part of our um, emphasis, you know, is to make sure that we go out and help others. And, you know, the first thing you need to do is help people when they need that warm food, when they need that warm bed. Or if it's a mom going through a difficult time with a teenager, they have those services, you know, just all the different things that they are there. And it's just the history of the Salvation Army um, since its beginning. And, of course, the impact it's had on Springfield here for year after year. Now, we're here at Bass Pro because Bass Pro is one of the spots where you get to put money in the bucket. And Bass Pro is matching donations, correct? Yes, that's right. Absolutely. That's why I wanted to give some some uh, little extra money there to help out with that match because every dollar that uh, you give, I think up to 10,000 Bass Pro is going to match that. And so I can't think of a better way. We were out uh, last week with our... Uh, um, Second Baptist Youth Group, and we were there at the Battlefield Mall, and I'm going to be there later on this week with the Kiwanis Club, ringing the bell, and man, people were so generous. I couldn't believe how many people, of course, we were having a lot of fun wishing them Merry Christmas as they were coming in and, and giving their donations that evening, and I look forward to the same later on this week. Even out in the cold, you're putting the boots on the ground exactly. for this great cause, and if you can't get out to Bass Pro, I know Chick-fil-A's are also another location. I was there yesterday. Our radio partners are out there. You can say hi to them. Um, it's just it's really, it's a blitz. We mean it when it's a blitz. Lots of locations that you can help out at. So no excuse or text to give. Texting, that's right. You can't beat that. It's cold out here. Stay at home. Text to give. It's uh, SAL224365. Thank you so much for being out here with me. <laughs> we'll be right back with Daybreak in 10.